Super Plus. Greetings and welcome to the Hills of Steel 2 Tank Breakdown series. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all the videos in the series. Today, we're super excited to introduce a brand new tank to the lineup. Say hello to Rex. This brand new mech dino tank is our new legendary that we're adding to the game. As you can see from the statistics on the right, it has fairly good statistics overall. However, we are looking at this at level 1 so that you can see what Rex is going to be like straight out the gate. Of course, you can level it up by getting items, coins, getting it to level 10 and adding the tank parts to it. But, like we said, we're going to look at it at its basic. It has a multitude of attacks that we're going to take a look at when we get into the game modes. It's a super fun tank, so let's get right into it and check out Rex as we kick things off first with some boss mode. So in boss mode we'll use this to take a look at Rex. It has three attacks overall, the first one being is a missile launcher. As you can see on the back of Rex there is a missile holder which holds all the missiles that you can then fire off to do damage to the enemies. As you fire them off the missile will empty and then will require reload time. However, as the missiles do add back up, you can fire them off straight away, so you don't need to wait for them to fully build up before you fire. The ultimate attack from Rex, as you can see, is a charge forward. It does a roar and then runs fast towards the enemy team. It will knock back, do damage for a few short seconds. Another ability is the bite. This will bite any tank that is in front of Rex, lift them up doing damage and then throwing them back a short distance. This gives Rex a really interesting set of utility. You have the missiles to be able to do damage from range. You have the attack that can charge right in, pushing the enemy team back which is very useful in certain game modes which we'll see later. And of course you have the bite for additional damage and control for throwing the enemies back. As you can see however, because we're still level 1, we still do take quite a bit of damage, so you need to be careful when playing them until you get them leveled up. In Starcatch, this is one of the places where it's ideal to use Rex's longer range missiles, but also to be able to charge in, knocking the enemy back. That means that as you charge in with your ultimate ability, you're pushing the enemy team away, allowing the rest of your team to be able to control the hill, take the stars and gather enough to get the victory. But as you charge in, be prepared that you're going to die a lot. In the earlier stages without any tank parts and at only level 1, you quickly take damage. However, if you're still charging in and distracting the enemy team, it's still very useful for your team to be able to collect the stars. There's other ways that we can use the charge in that better suits Rex, but for this particular mode, you can choose what you want to do. Stand on the back line, use your missiles to fire over the hills to do damage and keep the enemy team at bay, or charge in yourself to be able to push them back. This allows Rex to be played in many different ways. So, if you like to be aggressive or you like to be passive, it's perfect for you. Let's now jump over and take a look at Rex in a different game mode. In Bunker Bash, this is another perfect example of how the ultimate can be a great team ability. So in this, we're going to get pushed back a little bit. The enemy team are doing a lot of damage to us and they're pushing us back into the bunker. As we die, they're able to do a lot of damage to the bunker. This now means that we're on the back foot and it's going to be difficult to be able to get the win. However, with Rex's ultimate ability, we can charge towards the bunker, pushing the enemy team back and getting to the bunker quickly, allowing our team behind us to do damage to the first bunker. This means that in a lot of cases, when you lost the first bunker, it was difficult to get back in. Rex 
can swing things in your favor. So, with the ultimate ability, the bite, we're able to charge in, push the enemy team back, and take up that ground that we lost in the first push. And then, in the end, it means that we're actually able to help our team to victory. As you can see, halfway across the map, we use our ultimate, charge in, doing a lot of damage, and as with more tanks that we hit, it recharges quicker. So we're able to get to that second bunker very quickly. So, overall, Rex is an incredibly versatile and fun tank to play. We're not going to tell you what one way to play it, because you can do it however fits your playstyle. If you want to be charging in ahead, being that fearsome dino, pushing the enemy back to take control of any enemy areas, or to take down bunkers, you can even then play from the background, using your missiles, doing a lot of damage on the enemies. It's all up to you with this incredibly fun new legendary tank. This concludes our first look at Rex, the new legendary dino. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with more content around Rex incoming, as well as more videos in the series. If you've got Rex and you're playing them, let us know what you think in the comments below. Also don't forget to join our Discord where you can hang out with other players, participate in giveaways, and share fun clips from the game. Until the next time, have fun, and we will see you on the hills.